I got to, I want to see if this guy's Pokemon is ready to evolve. So if you um, give this guy a, a, a Whirlpool, it's like that red caterpillar looking thing with the horns, then it'll evolve as you periodically check. That's Cascoon. Oh, okay, so we need to go get a Silphoon. I, I think we have one. Okay, let's see. We've caught so many Pokemon. <laughs> let's see if we have one. I think we do. Yep, there you go. They're not exactly the same. Look at their eyes, bro. They're different colors, Baka. What are you doing? I beat the game and still stayed the same. Did you really? <laughs> I haven't beat the game yet. I'm hoping to here soon. I want to finish my playthrough of it. Okay, the Pokemon's like, I forgive you, even though you're being a butt face right now. That was super easy to do. I love my buddy no matter what it looks like. Okay. Let's go in here and... Yeah, I didn't know I had to. I've just been periodically checking to see if, like, it'll evolve. And that was not the case that time. And it just gives you a small XP candy. So, I mean, if you really don't need it, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's go. This guy always looks like a disapproving father. So you successfully calm down Lilligant. Excellent. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are introduced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the same rift. But you have no connection to the col to the lightning, is that right? Alrighty. Now let's see what else we're gonna do. We're gonna go eat mochi, potato mochi. <laughs> yeah, was I right or was I right? <laughs> <laughs> Piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove. Is it? Am I the only one that's bothered by the fact that he's got a green mustache? But his like beard, his little tiny one, it like goatee is like gray. It bothers me. Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere with our research or with carving our out of life here? Have this flashy new recipe. Scatterbangs. I don't even use those. I don't use, like, any of, like, the disguising stuff that I probably should. Like, the smoke bombs and stuff like that. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart as long as we truly believe in ourselves. There we go. All right, yep, everybody eat lots and lots of mochi. <laughs> the next day. Yeah, getting them stretches out. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Uh, I'm going to be Lilligant's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. 
This old woman's like, finally, I get to retire. <laughs> anyway, come over to the hairdressers when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. Oh, cool. I'm excited because I do not like the buns, but I do not like the long hair. Ugh. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Sorry about the whole situation. If you are to work here, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Oh, that's rich. I had to work my way here. She goes out and almost gets <laughs> mauled by a Pokemon and everybody loves her. <laughs> to Prelude Beach. Hmm. I'm nervous. What's going to happen here? Who, who are these peoples? There's a boat there now. These people have arrived here. They will live together with us. Oh, cool. So the people are like, hey, things are going good here. I'm just going to show up. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived on this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We heard that the region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we also heard that the Galaxy team knows a great deal about the Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help the village grow. Of course. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Cujo here. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind me just slaying Pokemon by throwing bags of food at them. Though the combined efforts of all of our team members let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the region. We look forward to doing our part. Is his name Bosley? <laughs> I'm pretty sure his name's, it was his name's Bosley. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? E. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the galaxy team and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart i suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the survey corps remember this though pokemon are terrifying creatures it is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them whether we wish to live alongside them or not and be warned as the leader of the galaxy team i am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect the village sure thing sir I believe I know what she's here about. Probably another enraged Pokemon that I'm going to have to throw food at. Just like <laughs> feeding the chickens. <laughs> Ugh. I got to run back to his office, I bet. Yep, they leave me on the beach. So I have to run back there. I don't think there's anything out here anymore. If you guys do not know. Oh, look, there he is. Oh, no, nope, that is a him. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I doubt it'll stay quiet and empty for long. Um, if you guys do not know, there is a good old wisp fire thing thing back here, I believe. Just in case you didn't know. I need to craft some Pokeballs. I am legit Pokeball cult, like, poor. It is bad. Um, let me see here. Yeah, let me see. I got... Heavy balls, pokey balls, wing balls, and that's it. Oh, look, there's a... How did you get up there, sir? You're so cute. I'm glad I found you. That's an alpha, by the way. I, the only way I think you can complete that mission is if you find an alpha. What's she doing up there, Terry? What a tail. What are you looking at up there? There's nothing up there with a the tail. What a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it. With its tail poking out. I think I catch a poke. Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. An elegant tail. Okay, what am I supposed to find? Elegant tail that curls like a spring. Okay. Um... I, I, I'm drawing blanks on what Pokemon he's talking about. Uh, 
I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. Yeah, sure. Here, you can have... I've got... I think i got a couple of water-type Pokemon. Yeah, you guys can have one of these. There you go. Have a Shellos. Yeah. I got like six of them. Oh, you're so cute. Shellos are so adorable. Now I'm all pumped up. And I'm done. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you too. We'll keep your Pokemon out here to help with the field and work a little longer. Just holler if you want to swap it with a different Pokemon. That was easy. I need to literally work with these farms. I keep kind of forgetting they're here. I think they're just out of sight, out of mind. I do believe, I think, yeah, okay, cool. We got some berries. Oh, no, never mind. We got ferns, pump beans, sand radishes. This bitter root originally native to sandy beaches can now be raised in even in frozen soil. It is pickled to make a sweet and spicy treat known as twice spiced radishes. Um, yeah. Cool. There you go. Get more berries. That's fine. I I do a lot of collecting, but you know that's not always um, enough, especially when you have to craft a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, what are they building? That looks cool. I'm excited to see what it is. I got my Mr. Mime out. I have a whole bunch of these polygon Pokemon. I think that's what they're called. Look at all these, like, missions over here. I always think that I do a whole bunch of them and then they pop back up again. Where'd this kid come from? Just shows up randomly. There you go, yeah. Um... Whoa, did you see her eyes? That was weird. Oh, she... I gotta go catch Magikarp now. That's fine. I got one so far. It was an alpha, and I nailed it in the head with a fly ball. <laughs> okay. Pop pods. Oh, I thought I needed to... I thought she had a mission for me. Let's see. What do you guys got? Heavy ball set. Sure. Those are super handy to sneak up on Pokemon with. Alright, what do you want? Species called Shellos, you see? I've heard it has different forms depending on where it lives with different coloring, too. Okay, cool. Well, we got one, so you can have it. About your request. Okay. Yep, you can have this one. I don't have the light blue one. Okay, so I gotta go get both. Okay. Fine by me. I will do that then. Let's see here. Thanks again for lending me a hand with getting that bunny, the Baneri photo last time. Everyone in the village, would you take a look at it? Oh, it's one of those cool ghost Pokemon with the skull on its face. That thing was so close, and yet I had no idea it was even there when the photo was being taken. From a shot like this, I can't even say with any certainty whether it's a Pokemon or something else entirely. If you recognize that thing in the photo as some Pokemon that truly exists out in the wild, I'd like to see it. Okay. So we gotta go find another Pokemon. Okay, so we got all of these assignments already. All right, let's go inside here and uh, continue on with the main story. We're getting a lot done. I'm super proud of us. Most of the time I'm like too busy hoarding Pokemon to actually be paying attention to me. Oh, there's some more requests here. Let's see what else. Oh, it's just a Krogunt. The captain of the medical intends to make some medicine using Krogunt. Okay, I can go 
talk to her real quick, I guess. That's not going to cause any harm, I don't think. Is it you? Yep, there you are. Yep. Um, let me see. I got plenty of crow gunks for you. I went through a... There you go. Yep. Yep, you can have him. He's just chilling. He's like, what do you want? Grunk. <laughs> I feel like that's my mood all the time. Everybody's like, hey, how are you? Grunk. Starting to think the survey card will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. It's screaming. All right, there we go. All set. Okay, now we can go talk to our boss. See what he wants now. All right, let's see. Oh, she's back. I commend you on your successful research into Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. He done died. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We, also all Blech. we have also received word from both the Survey Corps and the Supply Corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials on the island. These are serious concerns and moreover my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late Lord's seat. Normally I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. Ooh, spooky. I'll meet you in Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry. All right. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It's farther afield than Crimson Islands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of breathing the Cobalt Coasts. You know your mission? Investigate Fire Spit Island. So I wonder if you're not a certain um, star ranking, if you're allowed to even go here yet. You know what I mean? Like if you're like star rank three, just as an example, if you're not, if you're going to be allowed to be here or not. Huh. Something to ponder. I wouldn't know because I've already been too busy hoarding all sorts of things. I'm actually going to check real quick with this guy here down at the end this crafter and see if i can start buying iron chunks because that is what i really need for a lot of my pokeballs it's been a legit struggle let me see here yes give me all the goodies i will take all of them i will be poor that is fine okay I don't know if I've got much I can sell. I think I've been selling a lot of my stuff. Nope, there's some Stardust right here. You can have all of that. And I think that's it. I did have like a gold nugget and stuff like that, but I already sold this that stuff. Okay, cool. So now we can craft some of these Pokeballs that we need. So now we can craft our Wing Ball and our gigaton bowl and our ultra bowls i'm happy okay after five stars you can go anywhere that's good to know thanks for letting me know i was just curious i didn't know if there was a certain part or not 
slows down speedrunners a lot. I believe that. I really do. I'm sure that helps out, too. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the kid. Though I suppose it's expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? None of your business. She's a warden and yet has no noble to see to. There are even some people in Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. What I'm trying to say basically is if you and a Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you will find throughout here will be very important. Mysterious pebble that can raise it for a level. Cool. All right, can I go now? I want to go. I always get stopped. Yees, let's go. I'm excited to see some new Pokemon. I feel like I've been here forever. <laughs> but to be fair, I think I have. I've played at least two or three hours in every location. I need to get the flying Pokemon. I, I don't remember what its name is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I look at the little crab. I think that's a Paris. I'm not sure. A simply lovely corner. Sea and sky are as far as I can see. What Pokemon way is here? Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. Ugh, why do I have to ask questions? I just want to be like, nope, let's go. Sorry, I'm not very story-oriented anymore. Ew, I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> I'm such a dick, I don't care. <laughs> uh, we'll keep those out. There we go. Oh no, is it going to make us have to stop and talk to her? <laughs> no, I didn't mean to you. Come on, weird dear. Ah, damn it. I don't want to talk to this chick. I just want to go. <laughs> cool. Everybody can play a flute. I wish we had a skip option. Ugh. Fine. Let me just kick your ass and then go. Oh, shit. I think I have... Oh, no! That's all right. We'll, we'll just... Oh. There's, like, a little Eevee, too. That's all right. This Glaceon's going to wreck our crap. Well, maybe. Yep, here we go. Mm. Oh, well, maybe. E, toast them. Okay, we're good. I was really worried there. Yeah, um, is it a Ponyta? I've gotten that, I think, already. It was in the um, Obsidian Fieldlands. Yeah, thank you. Heal my Pokemon. I like how that Eevee showed up and I just kind of kicked the crap out of the poor thing. I've been doing a lot of the side quests too. Like um, like I did in the 
I've done a lot of the one in the Obsidian Fieldlands and stuff like that. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Polina, she is very dear to me no matter what anyone might say. We're both running to become leader of Pearl Clan, we strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all that, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into the true heir to its father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir will grow to a worthy successor, and if he succeeds, it would silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust to help with this one of the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. 